Time for question and answers. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Facebook and Instagram, so I'm finally getting to answer those questions. Let's go. Vanessa asks, what is your nighttime hair routine? I did a whole video about this last month and I will put a link right around here for you to click. Alexandra asks, does sweat on your scalp create buildup and should you wash your hair every time you exercise? The only way that I can see sweat on your scalp creating buildup is because there's salt in your sweat and if you have product on your scalp already, I can see that kind of mingling and turning into a paste like substance on your uh, scalp. So I, I think I can see that happening. But if you're washing your hair enough, that won't happen. Like when I exercise, I'll wash my hair like within the week. I don't wash it like the day that I exercise and you guys can say ew, 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 ew. I don't think it's necessary for you to wash your hair every single time you exercise, but maybe at least once a week just to clear all that out. Ashley asks, do you use your natural hair products in your daughter's hair and what do you recommend for kids with natural hair as far as moisture and maintenance? No, I don't use my products in my daughter's hair. I actually purchase, um, there's two brands I like. I like California Baby and I like Shea Moisture. They have a two-in-one hair and body wash and I use that for Olivia just because I feel like it's going to be more gentle and I don't know what she's allergic to yet so I don't want to play around with any type of mixture that's going to cause her to get a rash or anything like that. As far as moisture and maintenance, after I'm done washing her, I just put a tiny bit of grapeseed oil in my hand and rub it throughout her hair and her body and that's it. Grapeseed oil. Sherry asks, do you still use Terra Essentials Mud Wash? Nope, I make my own and I actually have a video for it and I'll link it right here. Takita asks, how long did it take you to get the length that you have? I've been natural now for five years. Janelle Butler asks, can you straighten your hair just once, please? No, I get this question a lot. I always answer it the same exact way. I never say never, but right now I don't have the desire to straighten, as in flat iron. But roller set, yes, I can see myself doing that quite soon. Yasmin asks, what are your favorite best products to use on your hair? I have a video for that too and I will link it right here. Jeremy asks, do you have any tips and styles for men with natural hair? Yeah, all of my tips can be applied to anybody with natural hair, whether you're female or male. Styling, probably not. <laughs> you probably don't want to do an updo, I don't know, maybe you do. I think a full lock style would look really cool on a guy. Delilah asks, will you ever get into doing more intricate styles like flat twists, cornrows, or individuals? I kind of like like airy, laid back, unkept, messy type of styles. I'm not really into like the like cornrows and like braids and stuff like that in my hair. I think it looks great on other people, just for me it's not really my style. So I don't really ever see myself doing any cornrows. I mean I did a style where I did like a couple of flat twists in the front before, but that's probably as far as I'll go um, with that kind of style. So. Shirlene asks, how often do you co-wash your hair? I co-wash every single week. Every single week. I used to not, and I've gotten a lot better at it, and I think it's out of necessity as well, because once your hair gets longer, it gets tangled a lot faster. Angie, how do you keep your curl pattern after washing? Is it a wash and go, or do you twist it? This summer I've been rocking my beachy summer curls look, and I posted a video to this uh, earlier in the season, and I will link it right here for you guys to take a look at. It's super easy, really fast, and I love the results. Shaquise asks, how do I get my hair to hold more moisture? It gets dry way too fast. I did a really detailed blog post about moisturizing your hair. I'll put it in the description box below. Lissandra asks, would like to know how you maintain your hair during workouts, especially for a person who sweats profusely in the head. Well, first of all, I don't work out every single day of the week, okay? I'll usually work out a couple days of the week. I'll wait till the end of the week when my hair starts to look kind of like bad. <laughs> and then I'll start working out because it doesn't really matter if my hair gets messed up because I need to wash it anyway. So, you know, the moment when you start wearing your hair into high buns and that kind of thing, I'll work out for those couple of days and then once I've had enough, I'll wash my hair and then the cycle continues. Shantae asks, so far I have three textures in my hair. Coils, waves, and kinky. Is one texture going to eventually take over? Everyone's different. Um, with my experience, I have two textures as well. So far in my experience, it hasn't gone away. So I really don't think it's gonna change or one texture is gonna take over another. I think that's just kind of the way it is. Tiffany asks, sometimes after I wash my hair, it seems to clump together despite adding tank detangling products and conditioners for the detangling process. Would you suggest any products, methods, or processes to cut down on my tangling? Oh, well, I just made that totally up. <laughs> Would you suggest any products, methods, or processes to cut my tangles down? I don't know if you've checked out my how to wash 
natural hair video, my updated one, but I'm gonna link it right here for you to check out. In that video, I wash my hair in sections, and after I wash my hair in sections, I twist up those sections. And the reason I do that is because if I don't twist up the section, it's going to retangle itself. And I didn't spend all that time finger detangling for nothing. So I think that if, I don't know if you're doing that right now, but if you aren't, try washing your hair in sections and twisting up and band to knotting each section as you go. That way your hair will stay stretched and stay detangled for the duration of your wash. Tati asks, do you use leave-in conditioner at all anymore? No, I don't use any leave-in conditioner. My leave-in is, um, I'll put aloe vera juice on my hair and I'll also put um, my oil mix on my hair. I'll put my, D my DIY oil mix right here. Nisa Williams asks, have you noticed any changes in your curl pattern as your hair grows longer? I haven't noticed any changes actually at all. My hair actually has the same amount of shrinkage and shrinks up just as much as it used to. Um, so no, nothing has really changed. I wear my hair in a lot of stretched out style. I have some pictures of my hair pattern on Instagram. Renita asks, oil before water or water before oil to lock in moisture? Water before oil. Torian asks, have you ever experienced a growth plateau? Any advice? Again, I have another blog post where I talk all about it and I will put it in the description below for you guys to check out. Lauren asks, top tips on avoiding frizz and shrinkage. Again, I have a blog post on that. I will put it in the description below. But for now, I'll just say, you know, there's really no way to avoid frizz and shrinkage. It's what our hair naturally does. That's like asking top tips on how to make your hair grow out straight if you have curly hair. Like, you can't control frizz. That's mother nature. She's gonna attack that hair. She's gonna do what she wants with it. The only thing that you can do really is work with it. Prepare for it. You know, the way that you style your hair, the way that you prep your hair for the day. If you know it's gonna be humid, hot, rainy weather outside, don't wear a twist out. <laughs> Maybe it's a bun day. Olivia asks, Hi, I'm a freshman college student. I would like to know, do you think it's financially feasible to afford natural hair products similar to what you use as a college student? Yes, absolutely. All the products that I use are homemade with the exception of one conditioner, which is extremely cheap at Trader Joe's. You can get it for $4. The ingredients for the hair products that I use are also extremely affordable. So it might be a, like $100 at first to buy all the ingredients, but that's gonna last you the entire year. So it's definitely a good investment. It's definitely, oh my gosh, natural hair is so affordable for college students. In fact, I think it's more affordable for college students than going to get your hair relaxed every four weeks. Keila asks, do you ever have days when you're detangling and just don't feel like being patient so you rush through it? Yes, yes I do and on those days I stop detangling. If you continue detangling, if you don't want to do it and you're rushing through it, you're gonna break off your hair. So if you ever feel that way, just don't do it. Save it for the next day. Christina asks, I want to know if there's a brand of bobby pins where the coating doesn't come off. Yes, my favorite brand of bobby pins. I get them from Sally's Beauty Supply and it comes with a crap load of bobby pins. And they're not expensive though, there's 300 in here. They're called Metagrip Premium Bobby Pins. They're awesome and they there's no bulbs to fall off on the end. They don't get all black stuff all over your hands and they last forever. The only way these aren't gonna last forever is if you lose them yourself. Kalia asks, did you take your TWA styles off your YouTube page? I still have all of my TWA styles on my page. In fact, I still have all of my videos on my YouTube page. All you have to do is go to my channel page, click on the videos button, and arrange my videos from oldest to newest, and you'll see all of my videos that I've ever posted. Is that Olin asks, how long after your BC were you able to use other styles besides the one in your TWA video? I did my very first twist out about two and a half years into growing my natural hair out. So it took two and a half years for me to get the length to really start playing in my hair. So hang in there. Ultra Cool Nay asks, can you explain your view on hair typing? I think hair typing is great. It's just a way, I, you know, I understand like some people think it's like, you know, saying that one type is better than another type or whatever like that. I don't think, I don't look at it that way. You know, you gotta look at it as positives. It's, a, it's, a, it's the quickest way for you to find somebody with the same hair type as you and get tips. And that's, that's really all it is. So the number system, the letter system, I don't know. I don't, I don't read too much into it. I just look at it as literally a catalog, <laughs> like in the library where I can go in and find somebody's hair that's like mine and get tips really quickly without having to analyze their hair. Oh, are you for it? Oh, you're for, okay, cool. Yeah, let's talk. 
really, it's really, I don't know, I, I, I have no issues with it at all. I think it's very helpful. If you want to figure out what your hair type is, like what your curl pattern is, just type in curly hair types on Google and you will get so much information. I hope I was able to answer, you know, some of the ones that I guess you guys are most interested in. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was informative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Uh, 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 uh. So beautiful. I love when my bed is made. Sorry. Oh, wrinkly. <laughs> Day Annie. Day Ann A. Uh, D asks, how can he see me in the window? That's creepy. Guys, so I hope this video was informative. Come on, homie, to say thank you and go back. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, we're playing. <laughs> oh my god. What is And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Should I put it on? Yeah. Looking for some relief from those painful monthly menstrual cramps? I posted seven all natural remedies on my new style channel. Click the link to the left to check it out. And get the answers to all your non hair related questions over at my daily vlog channel including my wedding story. Click the link to the right to be redirected.